Welcome to the one and only Steven's new show you watch. I'm Maria. And I'm Chris. This week we're covering the Tim Urban guest lecture, our new SGA president, and much more. We also have the return of a fan favorite segment, Roving Reporter. Only on Stu TV. We read the news so you don't have to wait. Last Tuesday, blogger Tim Urban came to campus and gave a presentation entitled Mars, Super Intelligent AI, and Other Non-Normal Things About the Future. Urban spoke to the idea that we are creatures who seek instant gratification, much like our evolutionary ancestors. Some of the topics covered in the talk included the Re Industrial Revolution, the future colonization of Mars, the smallest amount of space humans can physically fit into, the Big Bang, and Inside Out Virtual Reality. Urban concluded the talk by calling Stevens revolutionary and comparing the Institute to SpaceX. This past Tuesday, it was announced that Thomas Daly and Catherine Osterley have been elected President and Vice President of the 2017 Student Government Association. Over a thousand students voted online between the three tickets running. As per the SGA Constitution, Daly and Osterley will replace current President and Vice President Matthew Hunt and Jessica Smith at the beginning of the next semester. Some issues Daly and Osterley immediately hope to address once in office include seating in the library, storage for student organizations, and misguided sprinklers located on the paths to how. They want to change the image of the SGA to be more welcoming as well as improve the sense of community within the Senate. In other news, we sent our roving reporter, Victoria Piskrep, to determine if students know what CTV really is. My name is Victoria, and today we'll be asking people if they know what is CTV. My name is Matthew Levine. I'm Matt. Nick. Melina. Jimmy. I'm Priya. Joe. Brandon. Paris Gando. Ken Nelson. And do you know what CTV is? Yes, I do. What is it? It is our Stevens' own cable TV channel that broadcasts on YouTube and once was able to broadcast on closed circuit TV on campus. I believe it is your closed circuit TV here on campus. It's the TV station on campus. SIT TV, I mean, it's our television broadcast organization, campus wide, I would assume. Do you know what SIT TV is? Yeah, I used to be on eBoard, actually. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's the Stevens Institute of Technology Television. It's our TV studio in the basement of Humphreys. <laughs> yeah, SIT TV. What is it? Uh, I know it goes to all of Kevin Ryan's reviews. That's about it. <laughs> um, it's a uh, TV that represents <laughs> a lot of clubs. You know, you're able to advertise uh, and um, talk to the student body. SIT TV, the uh, TV network of Stevens Institute of Technology. Six EV. <laughs> Sit TV. Can you repeat that? Sit TV. Sit TV. Can you get the language of origin? Stevens. Oh, S I T T V. Yeah. Oh, it's not a word. It's a. No, I've never, never watched it before. Never. Nothing like that. What do you think it is? It sounds like some sort of source of news for our school. It's all the time we had for today, and I'm really happy to know that people know what is Sit TV. SAIS, the Society of Asian Scientists and Engineers, held its cupcake duel last Friday in celebration of their ninth anniversary. The Cupcake Decoration Contest had many participants who donated money in order to pie an e-board member in the face. One person, Parth Patel, was pied over 10 times and raised more than $30. The event also served as a fundraiser for the Trevor Project, which aims to provide emotional support for any member of the LGBT community. For the first time in Stevens' cross-country history, the women's team has earned an at-large bid to the 2016 NCAA National Championship. NCAA gives at-large bids to teams based on how well they did at regionals, as well as in the regular season. This season, the team beat RPI and Onyenta, placing 6th at pre-regionals and 2nd at E8s. Stevens solidified the bid with a 5th place finish at the Atlantic Regional, where senior Amy Re Regan placed 1st and sophomore Mary Visca took 5th with a 30-second faster 6K personal record. The national championship race is scheduled for 11 a.m. on Saturday, November 19th in Louisville. And that's this week's news. To get a copy of the newspaper sent to your email, sign up for free at thestudio.com slash subscribe. And for more news and sublime video content, subscribe to SIT TV's YouTube channel. Link in the description. Thank you for watching SIT TV News. I'm Maria. And I'm Chris. I hope our new SGA president isn't mad at you. 
Why would he be? <laughs>